Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Happy Hello everyone and welcome to a another birthday opening episode. This is for Ryan. His birthday is July the 7th and I'm trying to record this really quickly to get it uploaded for tomorrow. And also, if you guys don't know what a birthday episode is, it's basically us celebrating your birthday or my birthday. My birthday is actually this month, too. It's on the 21st, so I'm super excited. So anyways, in the comments below, let me know if you have a birthday coming up in July or August so we can celebrate. And give me three options of stuff that you would like to see opened up to celebrate for your birthday. So the giveaway in this episode is going to go to the person whose birthday it is. So they'll get something from what we open or something very similar to it. So he gave me some options and the first option there was a Yu-Gi-Oh item. So we are going to crack into a Target um, value cube or as <laughs> one of our other Lundra Alliance people say um, slice and dice it. going to take everything out very carefully. Really sucks because it looks like these four cards here, whoa. We have a pack of Secrets of Eternity First Edition and Primal Origins Unlimited. And then we have this random pack of cards here. It says that it comes with 25 cards, 2 boosters, and 5 foils. So, let's get straight into this. It looks like we might have a secret rare here. I'm not really sure. This is totally crazy. We have a first edition secret rare masked hero Dian. From PRCI. I don't know what that stands for, but this looks so cool. It looks so powerful. And he does have 2,800 attack and 3,000 defense. That is totally awesome. That is epic. Then we have a Kaga, Kage Mucha Knight. Which, uh, that just looks really creepy. Again, I feel like this is a secret rare, but maybe it's not because it has the same, like, uh... Information there. Whoa, what a zero attack. <laughs> wow. And then we have Mott. First edition is from the same thing. This is crazy. He looks like a really majestic wizard there. I like it. Oh, and he has like one of the Millennium items. You guys remember that from the original series? Ooh, a limited edition. This is a super rare flying sea. That is actually really cool. I really like the hollows that we got. I don't know much about them, 
but it feels like we pulled some pretty nice cards. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Oh gosh. And then we get our 25 cards and look at that right on the front. This amazing dragon. It's a triple D dragon king pin dragon. Golly, that looks so cool. Again, I'm thinking that's a super rare, but I don't really know, so... And honestly, doesn't this look like way more than 25 cards? I don't know, maybe it is and it just looks like a lot, but this is freaking insane. I love, I love this dragon. It looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that it's first edition too. This is crazy. So, definitely putting some of these here in the background. We've got this really cool glass hollow. I love that. That is so cool. I don't know what these are from either though. Oh my gosh, it is a dark hole. I remember that from the original series. This is so cool. Oh no, and a mirror's force. This is so awesome. We're pulling like... What is this series? A lot of these are first edition too. Uh oh, we got a double. Which I guess if you were making like a dex, so I guess it wouldn't matter to have some doubles here. Whoa, that looks so creepy. <laughs> Lime green dragon. Ooh, I remember Monster Reborn, but I don't know about Monster Reincarnation. Oh, and then we've got some mystical space tycoons. Those are things that were those are cards that were used back in the day pretty much like a lot is this crazy is this a deck you know what i'm beginning to think this might be a deck ys15 this is crazy i don't know but i really like these glass hollows too so i'm just gonna kind of put these here and this deck had some, I don't know, 25 cards, whatever. And then we're going to start by opening our unlimited Primal Origins. If you guys don't know, these value cubes are located at Target. And I'm actually, like, really considering going and getting quite a bit of more of these to open up on the channel. Because I just really like them. They're just really fun to open you get get different things different packs and then also um a chance of getting just you could get anything i'm pretty sure wow star dustin that looks really interesting oh that looks like a millennium artifact itself but it's not anyways Ooh, darkness our rare is a beautiful but princess. Okay. Followed by a Hydra. This actually looks really cool. I love this Hydra card. That is so awesome. Evo Singularity. I don't really know what many of these cards do. I just really like, like looking at the artworks. So that was actually pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not putting that on top. That can go on top. That was my favorite card. <laughs> and then we have our Secrets of Eternity first edition pack. You know, it really sucks that they quit doing ultimate car like ultimate rare cards in these cuz I feel like those were really cool. But then again, I haven't seen any glass hollows either, so it would be really cool if they would like do something really cool with that. Wow, look at these cards. They're so cool. Like, you can tell a big difference between cards in, like, newer sets versus cards in, like, older sets. It's so interesting to see these different types of cards make it into the game. Oh, man. 
Void Expansion. That's actually not too... <gasps> oh my gosh, you got a super rare! Infernoid Antra. It looks really weird though. Oh man, that is so cool. So we ended... Whoa! We ended up getting a super rare out of one and some really cool glass hollows and all these really cool holographics in the back. Um, I think one is a secret rare. I'm not really sure. Maybe there's a couple, but there's some limited and first editions. So, in the comments below, what was your favorite pool? And also, um, I can't wait. This is going to be awesome to send, you know. And what do you guys think about value cubes? So, Anyways, happy birthday, Ryan. Expect a, probably a random Yu-Gi-Oh pack soon. And we'll see what we can do about that. Until next time, guys. <sighs> wow.